Welcome to episode three on the North Umqua with Troop 99, and we are repeating section two because the water flows at about 875, and it's too low for our big SOTAR raft, so we're competing for time on section two. This is way better than a new river. Yeah, exactly. That's oh, what... yeah. All we have, now the section we went on was like the, yeah. it was the kids section. We went on the adult Boy Scout section and they were like, this is gonna be like incredible. Like they hyped it up so much. So much. The drive over was scary. Yeah, I'm like, oh dang man, okay, we're ready to go. We get out there, wasn't even close to anything we've done here. It was just rolling. It was all California class one and a half, maybe two. I would say the time we went was I think we had one class class three was the biggest one we went on. Because uh, one of my daughters is really nervous about it. Um, it wasn't a lot of work. But last time I was it was a long time ago, time before one of the new rivers. Mm -hmm. It was like 2005, 2006, whatever. Whatever section we did, I remember it being. Gnarly? It was, it was pretty gnarly. Yeah. I got, I got chucked out there one time. Yeah, there was no getting chucked out of this thing. No, uh, we, we hit a rock, hard, like came down hard, popped up, and smacked the rock wall. And that energy sent me, yeah, shot me off the side. Oh, man. I'm water right around in ice on too. Did you really? In glacier water. Oh. If you're in a dry suit. Yeah. Oh, you know, water. Uh, yeah. Water. A little bit. Paddle back. And stop. Paddle forward. And strong paddle. Slow paddle, paddle right, paddle right, <laughs> and paddle left, one time. Hey, this rock, I think it's like six in a little bit, so. Uh, the bumper? The, the tail tried it, like that rock on the right, stuck in a little bit. Yeah. Paddle strong, guys, paddle strong. Paddle left. 
float. Let it float. Let it float. Let it spin. <laughs> no, I told him to go this way. He, was, he wasn't going to get to that. Oh, that's fine. You get us, we're supposed to get the shoot there. No. No. He's going to go right here. He's got to miss that. That's the stick he has to miss. Yeah, well, he's hung up. All right, we're about to get one stop. We're going. I paddle back. Flash, he did. And let it float. Here we go. Paddle left. <laughs> paddle left. Paddle left. Paddle left. And let it float. We're going to paddle hard in a second. Are you ready? Paddle off. Paddle right. Paddle off.
forward. We all strap down. Boo. What is for lunch today, by the way? Uh, just cold cut. Cold cut. Cold cut today? Yeah. No, it's only like one, it's about one o'clock, I think. What? It's about one o'clock. So we got time for a real lunch, a siesta, and then a real dinner. Uh, Ollie's pulling for full pork for lunch and dinner. Two <laughs> pork to camp and have lunch, right? Yes, we're going to uh, Susan Creek Camp. Two pork butts? Which is 10,000. Get that. I like pig butts, especially when they got barbecue sauce. And I like what? So what do you think pigs poop there, Lawrence? More posterity, because this is going on the YouTube channel. So you just share with all your clientele. All 80 subscribers of my YouTube channel are going to hear you say that. Because I am not editing it out. 81. Yay! I'm subscribed. 82. You will, you, you will see yourself. Big knife. Yeah. Do you want this back on your truck? Yeah, I'll put it back in the I, I can send it to the other side. I'm going to cut thin. Don't cut it. That's a waste of... Yeah, it's a waste. It's a waste. How is it a waste? You want watermelon nice and thick. Cut a manly slice. Yeah, you want to know that you're eating... You can't even break through them. Not so easy, is it, son? What did you do to that watermelon? I can eat it. Broke it. Can I eat it? No, break it in half. I messed up. Put it back on top of the. I done messed up. Rewind boy. it and you know start up. Break it in half like this. Done messed up, Sarge. Yeah, bend like that. Streaks of light in a loud desert thunder. Chulapa! Mexican couple, the baby was born. Just as the baby cried thunder and light, the drum was right in the campground. Father and father both brought up the daughter that heaven had sent them. All right, Mr. Fallon. What was the best part of the day on the river, Mr. Fowler? That's a great question. The best part of today was seeing that little curl in the water, like an ocean curl. That was awesome seeing that. Cool. What about you, Eli? Other than the curl. Every time, Oliver tried to push me in and he failed. And he failed? Okay. <laughs> I see that as a challenge for the next time we're near a body of water. Any body of water. A shower, the ocean, a dog bowl with water in it. 
Oliver, what about you? I think my favorite part was discovering that we had to do segment two again because we were out of water in segment four, and there was a horrible get out spot in segment three. Yep, that's true. Lawrence, what was your favorite part? Just as you put food in your mouth, what was your favorite part about paddling today? Um, he likes to uh, I drink. like the um the big wall of water, the big white water. Oh, oh sorry, I kicked you. Uh, the big wall of white water. They're like that happened twice because we were on the same segment twice. So I right, I knew when it was about to come, and I was like, oh boy, here it comes. And like it was like this far over my head. It was I wonder what it looks like to the people behind me, just like me getting swallowed. You saw you disappear. Did your life flash before your eyes? Yeah. Well, the first time, not the second time. But the first time, I didn't know it was going to happen. So we were right next to it. Cool. Martin, what about you? Having fun on the water and safety and getting new people on the water. That's for getting new people on the water. Having, having fun. <laughs> Mr. Campbell, how about you today? Being on water, time to reflect. There you go. Mr. McAndrews, first assistant scoutmaster trip on the river. What about you? He didn't go in the drink today. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. That was a win. That was a win, yeah. <laughs> and when our guide, the great Captain Packer, <laughs> drove us right perfectly onto that rock where we are balanced in the very middle. That was, it was, that was, it was a beautiful sight. That was precision. That was Crazy precision skills. Guiding. Precision guiding. Crazy skills. <laughs> and we didn't flip. And we didn't flip. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. That's a bummer. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bummer. I can't help tell you how many times we flipped. My best now. part was Eli and how small he can crawl up underneath the stern or the bow of a boat to keep from getting thrown in. He can contortion himself around thwarts. <laughs> and I am like the octopus. <laughs> it was hilarious. All right. Good deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good ending to a good day. Oh, oh he's do doing some work for you. Ew. Look at it now, he's got himself a. Oh, gosh, dirty Sanchez, man. Rocky, pray us out of here. Dead right. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this week and the blessings that we have received by being here together and being in the wonderful world. Pray that you'll uh, give a safe journey home and bless each of us. It is Monday, our drive home day. As we leave Susan Creek Campground, it's been a great three days on the river and five days camping with Troop 99. We're going to head out on 199 or eventually Roseburg to 199 to Grants Pass and then out into Cave Junction with a stop for lunch and cowboy burgers at Taylor Meats before we hit McKinleyville, California and the coastal not 100 degree weather that we're having down there. I think it's like 65 is the high right now. It's also smoky. That's the climate.
just about into Cave Junction and minutes away from Taylor Meats and Happy Food when you pass the sign on 199 that says Sweet Crumb. Not sure if that is marketing or mistake. As in marketing, so it draws your attention, or mistake, you can't spell, so you just spelled it twice to cover up your mistake. And thank you for joining Troop 99. This is our July trip in August. We're going to be on the trail. You can join us Castle Lake to Heart Lake and Mount Bradley Ridge for August. And then September, we're back on the trail to Seven Lakes Basin. Both those are in the Cascades up above Mount Shasta. See you soon.